Hello, I'm here today with Sarah Bishop. She's 23 and currently living with her parents, but looking to move out. She's been in an IVA for about six months now and feels that it's going well. Today, we're going to be talking about how she got into debt and about how the whole process of setting up an IVA has been for her. Hi, Sarah. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Could you start by telling us a little bit about how you got into debt? Basically, it started off when I was younger, I suppose. I got a loan to get a car out, and this was a silly age. Um, and then the car, I needed to replace the car, and I should have waited a few months, basically, but then I got another loan out and then had a bad breakup. So it, it kind of all spiraled from there, I suppose. It, you get big time retail therapy. Um, and because it I went away as well. I went travelling. I needed to get away from here. So I kind of just just all snowballed in, really. I didn't even know it was happening until I got back from travelling. So When did you first realise that your debt was a big problem? Well, when I got back, I tried to um, consolidate everything, but it, it just didn't work. I, I was still used, used my credit cards to buy petrol and, you know, still using my credit cards to pay off some other bills and things like that. So it just all mounted up. So about, I think about six months after I got back from travelling, I kind of realised that I needed to do something about it then. What made you take that first step to get help? Really, I mean, I, I, I was at a good stage where I thought, OK, if I don't do something about it now, I am going to get people ringing up my house and I am going to get into more trouble and it's just going to get to that point where, you know, it's just going to cause ten times more and I suppose hassle's not really the words, but aggro for me if I don't do something about it now. So. Tell me about when you first contacted a debt solutions company. It was very scary. I, I didn't really know anything about the solutions, to be honest with you. I just kind of typed in something on the internet and then it came up. But, um, it was very daunting, I have to say. The company were really great in the end, but I don't know, I suppose, because when you take that first step, it's admitting that actually you have, you know, got yourself into that much debt, so it was a bit scary. How did you find out about IVAs? Well, that was purely through the company, because I looked up, a, I, I can't even remember what I typed in on the internet, and the company that I went through came up, and they just gave me a call. I told them about my situation, and they came up with the IVA solution, so. Can you explain a little bit about how your IVA is being set up? They, they gave me that initial phone call, told me all about it and everything, um, but they just then they had to have the meeting with the credit, the IP um, to sort out how much get all my bank statements and everything together and my pay slips, which I was rubbish at keeping, so I had to try and sort them out. Um, mine was actually I was I think I've been one of the lucky ones. Mine was a really smooth transaction, um, and then I think it only took about a couple of months in the end. Tell me how things are now you're paying off your IVA oh it's great it's ten times better than it ever was before I've just got this one bill coming out on the first apart from car insurance but and everything like that but that comes out on the first of the month I know what I've got left I pay off my rent and it, it's great my I mean obviously I know you have to cut back on some things but I shouldn't be doing them in the first place really <laughs> so it's fine my life's ten times better than it was before how did you find that initial creditors meeting yeah, it was fine. It was, again, probably one of the most nerve-wracking things I've ever been through, like that that feeling of are they going to pass me, are they not? Because obviously with a consolidation loan, it was less than six months or however long it was that you needed to have the loans for. So I was, And my life was in the hands of one major creditor, really, so they had like 90% of the vote really so do you think that an IVA was the right choice for you and why I do definitely but purely because I know that in five years time well less than that now I'm going to be completely debt free and it's going to be a whole new my slate will be wiped clean um and I can start again really and plus after this five years I'm going to be able to manage my money a million times better than I could have done before so it will get me, set me up for the rest of my life, really. So, How did the debt problem affect your relationships and family life? I haven't actually told my parents about it, mainly because, you know, I, they did know about my debt problems, but they thought with the consolidation, 
that I'd sorted it and I just didn't want to put that extra stress on them. They don't need to know. I'm, I've sorted it out by myself. My brother knows about it, and he's been very supportive about it and everything, but I, j I didn't want to put that stress on my mum and dad. They don't deserve it, really. So, Have the current rises in interest rates affected your IVA? Not really, no. I don't really have anything to do with all of that, because so. I live at home with my parents. So that doesn't affect me at all, so... What do you think were the contributing factors to your debt? Probably when I went away travelling, I would say. Um, because I needed to, you know, get the stress out of my life, I kind of just went mad when I went away. used all my credit cards and used... Um, I actually had a car crash and I got the insurance money back and I used, I just used, splashed out on all that and then everything like that, really. So there was loads of things that contributed to it, but mainly I would say travelling. How did you feel as your debts grew? When I first realised how big it was, it it was a horrible, horrible feeling. Because I, when I came back, before I left for travelling, it was a manageable, manageable amount. I could quite easily handle it, but then I went away and it basically doubled. And I didn't realise that, you know, I didn't realise how much I was spending when I was away because I didn't keep track of it at all. Um, and it was a very scary feeling. Why did you continue to amount debt? Because I didn't want to admit to it, really. I didn't want to admit to the fact that I had got in that much debt. I thought I could handle getting out of it. Um, and with the interest rates and petrol and everything like that, I just couldn't, couldn't cope with it. So. When did you first realise that your debt was a big problem? It was probably actually about, I would say, just a little bit less than a year before I did actually look up the IVA um, and then and then after and after that year I kind of actually thought no I need to do something about it. So. How easily could you obtain more credit? Very easily it was ridiculous I walked into Barclays after I'd been travelling I hadn't really got my job sorted out yet um, and they said well you're allowed to borrow up to £25,000 that, and that obviously was for the consolidation. They didn't need to check anything. They, you know, did. They just went by my word of how much I was going to earn. It was very easy, very easy. In retrospect, would you have sought help earlier? I probably did it right at about the same, the right time. I would say, I didn't. I wasn't having any hassle from any of the creditors. But if I carried on even for maybe just a couple of months, I would have started to get that. So. How has your debt affected your career? Now it's okay. Before it was really stressful and because I was having this stress at home with my debt and everything, I was taking that into work and getting really down about it all. So it probably affected it then, but now it, it's it, it's fine because I'm in the IVA and everything, it's, it's fine. Have you disclosed your debt to your employer? My initial employer that I was with, when I first entered into the IVA, I didn't actually then. Um, I actually started on the day the IVA my, was agreed, so I didn't know whether to tell them or not. Um, the new job I've just started, yeah, I, I fully disclosed it. So, How do you feel about your financial future? A lot better. I mean, I've got this new job now, so that helps me out loads, but I just know that, you know, four and a half years' time now, it's going to be all over, so, and I can start again. Has an IVA improved your outlook? Yeah, 100%, 100%. I mean, I just, if I'd carried on the way I was, it would have had to go down the bankruptcy route, and because I've done it at quite a young age as well, it's not going to really affect the rest of my life, so. Just generally about debt in Britain, why do you feel the debt crisis is worsening in the UK? For starters, just how easy it is to get credit, I think, it is ridiculously easy. I mean, I got a credit card because I started spending a bit more on it. They basically doubled the um, limit that I was allowed on it. I think, obviously, things like house prices and everything like that is a massive contribution to it and paying back things like that. But I would just say how easy it is to get credit. Do you think there is enough financial education in the curriculum at the moment? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean... I don't even think there's really any, you know, and I think a lot of people see credit cards as a good thing because it starts off as, oh, I just get it for this and emergencies, and it, it never happens. It's always going to spiral out of control. So I think there should be a lot more education on it.
Sarah, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. It's really useful for everyone else so that they can uh, mm -hmm. learn from your experiences and wish you all the best of luck with it. Thank you very much.